Good morning, fourth graders. I'm sorry I missed reading to you on Saturday. We did a lot here. We helped to do something with our church to show mass and that took a lot of time with my phone. And then we celebrated my girlfriend Elizabeth's birthday yesterday with a Google Hangout call where we got to see all of our college friends. So today I'm reading to you Skippy John Jones. Maybe you have read these books before. Skippy John Jones is this little chihuahua. I uh, love these books. Looking cat, or is Skippy John Jones a cat? <laughs> yeah, he's a Siamese cat. He's a Siamese cat that thinks he's a chihuahua. So here's the story of Skippy John Jones. And most of you know that I speak Spanish and I love to throw little bits of Spanish in and that's one of the reasons I love Skippy John Jones. Every morning, yeah. Skippy John Jones woke up the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Bridges ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Mr. Doohickey's bird bath. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat, not a bird, not a mouse, or a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. Skippy John has such a great imagination. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed and once or six times I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? Back in the kitchen, Jujubee, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Jujubee. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. <coughs> in fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road, far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterioso band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay, caramba! Who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Skipito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? asked Poquito Tito. I go incognito, said Skipito. Do you like rice and beans? asked Pintolito. Si, I love mice and beans, said Skipito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. It looks like a chocolate chip cookie. He does look like a chocolate chip cookie, this one. Interesting looking chihuahua. chihuahua. Leaning to toward Don Diego, El Skipito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the chihuahua's very large ear. ha choo pichu Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Skipito. Then it is true, decreed Don Diego. Yippee, yippee, yippito. It's the end of Alfredo Buzito. Skipito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad bombolito. Then all of the chimichangos went crazy loco. Loco means crazy. So they went crazy, crazy. First, they had a fiesta. Then they took a siesta. A fiesta is a party. A siesta is a nap. A 
But after waking up, the chimichangas got down to serious bee's knees. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great bombolito for Skipito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos so great that one could hear a whisker drop. Alfredo Bazito, whispered the crowd. El blimpo, bombolito, bandito. This is their imagined enemy. Si, sí, said Poquito Tito, the bandito steal our frijoles. Not your beans, cried Skipito, outraged. Si, sí, Poquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto, and jelly too. Jelly beans. And now he comes for us, Poquito added. Por qué? asked Skipito. Because we are full of the beans too. Can you hear Sarah getting her breakfast there? Cheerio! <laughs> no Not beans sponsored. for her. Then Don Diego stood tall and his in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero frijoles, which means I want beans. Huh? asked Skipito. The dude just wants his beans back, said Poquito Tito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Skipito. Then all of the chimichangos turned towards Skipito, the great sword fighter. But poor Skipito had no time for a plan because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamos, Skipito, or is it you, the bandito, will ito? they cried. Skipito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like the jello, and his teeth chattered like the castanets. Then, in a muy muy soft voice, my name is Capito Frisquito. I fear, fear, not a single bandito. But Alfredo Bazito flew straight for Scapito until the bean-eating bambito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frijoles, cried Scapito as he thrust his sword into the air. That's the bumbolito's body. Pop! Suddenly went the bandito landing on Skipito's sword and quicker than one could say chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers. Every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Bozito, the bumblebito bandito. Look at all the beans. Spilled the beans. Then all the doggies burst into song. Yippee, yippee, yippito. Our hero is El Skipito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans and now we can make our burritos. But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John's room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down to the hall to the kitty boy's room. Benguito, Crashito, Popito, Skipito, just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. Then out flew candy, beanbag doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday piñata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. Holy muchachitas, he said in a muy muy soft voice. Mama Junebug lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry, purry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mrs. Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. I love all the mom's nicknames for Skippy John. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say good night, Skippy John Jones, called his mama. Buenas noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. And that's the end of Skippy John Jones by Judy Schnackner. I don't know. Shackner, I guess, is her last name. I might be saying that wrong. Anyway, happy Sunday. It's rainy. 
Hopefully you have seen that on the Tunkanic Area Intermediate Parent Group page on Facebook, we are having virtual spirit days. So if your parents haven't joined that group, if they're on Facebook, have them join that group and you can be part of showing your spirit at home. Today is share your pet day. Tomorrow is snack attack day. And every day a different teacher will be introducing the day's theme. So check out that page. Have a great day.